guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video in today's video I'm going to be going through and doing a little bit of a compilation of some of my favorite flips and upcycles I started flipping or doing up furniture at the beginning of last year actually it probably wasn't quite at the beginning so I haven't been doing it very long and I'm by no means an expert but I just wanted to show you my five favorite ones the first four were pretty much no-brainers but the fifth one I sort of had to think about it was a toss-up between a lot of different ones but in the end I made a decision on which one that that took fifth spot so the first one number five is this little bedside table I bought from the Facebook marketplace for $10 So on second thought, I decided to change my mind and I'm making these little Kmart side tables that I did over as my fifth favorite ones of all time so far. Um, there were Kmart tables, I think they were, I don't know how much they were originally, but Brandon gave them to me when he moved back home for a little bit. And I saw a picture of some Hampton tables online and they were $599 for one table and I thought I'm gonna try to copy that and make these into little Hamptons look side tables. This was the first time I actually ever constructed anything in one of my makeovers. I had to cut these little crossbars out and that did take quite a lot. I'll put a link up at the top of all these videos that are more in depth that will show you how I did these things. And after I'd done that, I had to actually put in wood filler because they were a little bit messy. And then I painted them all. I put a coat of clear varnish on and these two are in my family room now and I look at them every day and these were my fifth favorite of all time so far makeovers. <laughs> sort of is close to my heart. It's a special one I did up for my son Brandon and his girlfriend Amy when they moved into their place. It's a little coffee table I bought from the Facebook marketplace. Actually I didn't buy it, it was free. I got it for free and you can sort of see why I s sort of realized when I got it that it wasn't as good as I thought it was but it was free so I can't complain that's for sure. was a fair bit of damage to this one and but it didn't take too much fixing really so um, yeah this was my fourth favorite one and it turned out really really well it just needed a, a bit of fixing a lot of cleaning and this actually took I think on the top of it I put about six coats of paint on it just would not cover although I didn't use um, any primer or undercoat so it was really my fault I guess um, and I really regretted painting inside these drawers because <laughs> it took so many coats it took me ages but in the end I loved it I actually it was the first time actually making a herringbone pattern for the side of this out of popsicle sticks as well originally I was just going to cover the board in wallpaper and put that in and I thought no I'll try this and um, yeah I was really pleased with the way it turned out and Brandon and Amy really liked it too.
number three, my third favorite one of all times, the one I've done recently, and you may have seen it on my channel if you've been watching my videos. This dresser that I picked up from the Facebook Marketplace, it was nothing. They were giving it away, but on closer inspection, it did need a few things doing to it. Yeah, actually this one was amazing when I saw this on the Facebook Marketplace for absolutely nothing. But when I asked her about it and inquired, she said someone was going to get it and they were going to pick it up. And then later in the day she said, you just come and get it if you want. They never turned up. Um, and yeah, I was so pleased with that. And that has happened a few times. So um, I was really, really lucky because this was the biggest upcycle that I've ever done. I've never done anything this big. And it did need a bit of work to it. There was a, a big crack out of one of the drawers. Um, there were chips um, and things. And there was also underneath, I found that there was a lot of damage as well. But in the end, it turned out beautifully. It's the first time I've actually sanded veneer. And um, I sanded the top of this. It's, it was veneer, a very thin veneer. You can sort of see there. But it turned out really well, thankfully. And I sold this. It took me, I put it up on a Tuesday night and by Wednesday morning it had sold for the full asking price. And I could have sold it three or four times over. I had so many inquiries. Um, this was a really pretty piece. What did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. down to number two and this one is mine that I have on our patio outside it was a dark brown 
outdoor table that was beautiful when we first bought it but just as time went on it weathered and also fashions change dark brown things are sort of not that popular at the moment so I wanted to paint it white so this was the table that I'm painting white so as you can see it's going to be a pretty big transformation and I love this. <laughs> this table actually was the one that I was sitting at when I was talking before and yeah it just really did make such a huge difference to the table. It just didn't look like the same table um, that's for sure. I actually used Aldi paint. I didn't use any stain blocker or anything like that and it's been fine. Uh, I don't know whether I've been lucky. I waxed it with beeswax so that when I wipe it over it actually um, all the dirt, food, anything like that just wipes off um, really easily. I actually didn't reuse these chairs. These were the chairs, the wicker ones, and they had started sort of falling apart. I couldn't really do anything with them, so I bought these ones online on the Facebook Marketplace. I think they were $200 for eight, which was so good. And I set about cleaning them and painting them to actually match the table. And yes, this is my second favorite one of all time. It really was a lot of work. This one, it took a long time to do. I sort of spread it out over a period of time. I didn't rush it. And um, I think that's the secret with, with doing something properly is not rushing it and um, just enjoying it even, just enjoying what you're doing and the transformation. That was after the first coat of paint and it looked really bad, <laughs> but after the third coat, coat it all sort of come together and yeah, it was just beautiful. We use it every day and we absolutely love it. Number one, finally, my first and foremost favorite thing that is actually our piece of furniture and it's on our patio right at the moment. Actually, I need to tidy it up. It's our brown wicker lounge, plastic lounge, that I painted white with tile paint. So that was the before <laughs> and this actually is, oh, I, I just love it every day. I look at it and think, wow, what a difference that has made to it and to the whole patio at the back. Um, this was also a lot, a lot of work though. It took me a long time to do, although I didn't do it all at once. I sort of stopped and started. Um, I had to clean it thoroughly and that was a job in itself because trying to get all of the dirt and dust uh, and everything out of that wicker, you know, I had to make sure that everything was out pretty much. And this is Grip Lock Primer I'm putting on it. And even that, as you can see, um, that very first coat of just primer undercoat made a huge difference to it. I actually used tile paint and the idea I had with that was we had done up our kitchen but also in our bathroom and put it in our shower recess and I used to look at it well I still do and think wow that's extra tough stuff like water hot water is on it every day and it's still fine so I thought well if it can withstand that it can withstand this and it has it's been probably maybe going on a couple of years now and it's stood up really really well we absolutely love it this was my number one success and I think you'll agree <laughs>
watching guys I hope you enjoyed today's video um, what do you think about the transformations which was your favorite the wicker lounge hands down for me and um, the Hamptons table I mean they're so close but I think the wicker lounge being what it was um, brown plastic wicker and it's been transformed and it's holding up so well actually so um, yeah that, that is my favorite and I actually also covered the cushions so I went from black to light and I made different cushions for them so anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in next week's video have a great week and bye for now